another round of, of catching up from the couch in these strange days and uh, I've managed to get some time with me. Old mate, Damien Yule from the Breeze here in Dunedin. How are you, sir? Uh, I'm holding up. I'm like everybody else. Uh, I've got uh, three children of various ages at home and that's uh, trying in its own way. Um, the dog thinks it's Christmas um, and is now slightly suspicious that I've been fired after spending so much time at home. But no, we've done okay, man. We've done okay. We're well, it, 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 it's yeah. a thing. Part of most of your role is to be in a small padded room by yourself and, and talking with people, communicating. And I, I would hazard a guess that that's never been more important for the communicating of, of people and bring them together. Have you noticed anything that, that's changed from, you know, people wanting yeah, to know it's more? It's kind of that? a weird thing. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of a weird thing because um, quite often, as you know, um, it radio mops up after there's a big disaster, uh, you know, where there's a human tragedy, where there's a flood, where there's a fire, or whatever. And, you know, we go into communities and, and we, we see how everyone's doing and, and just try and let people know that there's some sort of normality uh, from the drama. This is weird in the sense that we don't know where this is going. You know, we've got a fair idea from you know, um, Auntie Jacinta and, uh, and the father of the nation, Ashley. Um, but we, we really don't know where this is going. It's uncharted territory, not only for uh, the human component of that community, but the economy. I mean, as we all know, mate, we're all in it. And um, yeah, it's uncharted territory. Yeah. So. Um, Dunedin, though, as a city, I think we'd, we've done pretty good. You know, we're out learning new tricks, like I say, about uh, going for the regular walk, that's cool. But as a city, I reckon we've done pretty good. It's not a competition, but I think we're, we're on the podium, surely, for behaviour. I think you're right. I, I, I think after a couple of early missteps, um, we are. Um, and we've learnt a lot, probably, about ourselves and in, in that what we need, what's important. Um, because I think there's been a lot of this um, you know, without getting too spiritual, it's like, I can have that, therefore I will, not do I need, you know, and I think there's going to be um, a, a bit of a reset in that capacity, what is important, and, you know, I think um, for the economy, for example, uh, working on the radio, uh, if we don't have businesses advertising, we don't have business, and guess what? we don't have businesses advertising because they're not open and they've got nothing to do so we're just sitting there ready to go and uh, you know it's going to be very much um it's very much you know, rather than getting online and and doing the aliexpress and the and the wish and the amazon to save yourself a couple of bucks it's going to be about investing in your community it's going to be about saying okay i might pay a little bit more here but that's going to feed someone two doors down from me you know, it's the butcher, it's the baker, it's the candlestick maker. We've got to get back to that. Move away from this a little, um, move away from this global economy that we've got and really, you know, maybe not uh, go to Greece for the, for the wedding anniversary, maybe go to Thai Happy. You know, uh, we've got to just, it, we, we've got the huge advantage that we've had, aside from Jacinda, I think, is, is we're an island and I think we've got to start using that as a strength. Um, and, and start investing with us. Say, not only in our local economy, but in our national economy, because, you know, we've, we've got to look after our own first and foremost. Yeah, and I think you're, you, you're bang on the, on, on the money with that. Buy New Zealand made and buy local were things and initiatives that we're familiar with. We knew about them. I think it mm -hmm. makes much more sense now. You know, somebody's shone a light on it and it really hits home more. So, one of the things I'd hope is that we, we keep that up. We do that. Like you say, we've found a, a local butcher and uh, we know uh, the florist that's, you know, that's absolutely shut um, for now. But soon things will be good. But they're finding new ways of, of doing it. Carly from Joseph, Joseph Jones. We love Carly. We love Carly. Um, for yourself, and we're mates, so I can say this, you're one of the most isolated people that I've ever known. You were probably well prepped for this. You've got the garden of many people's dreams and, and things like that. What other tricks are you, have you picked up or have you seen people go, that's cool, I can do that. You know, are we beyond the home baking? You know, um, I've, done, I've, I've done a bit of all of that, to be honest with you. I haven't dived into the fitness craze. Um, as you and I both know, um, we're not born athletes. Um, 
Uh, I've baked, I've, I've gardened, um, I've been painting, um, and, you know, uh, enjoying um, not being in front of thousands of people uh, talking. Sometimes, you know, uh, we miss the, the Relay for Life, a huge community event that we do look forward to, you know, but it's like, um, it's uh, as much as I miss it, it's all so a huge relief um you know uh, as you know i, I get wound up like a week block um before these events so um i'm, I'm kind of enjoying that i'm in, enjoying um my bubble um i realized that i've got quite a cool bunch of people that i'm lucky enough to live with and uh some i'm married to and some had no choice um you know so i'm i'm, I'm really enjoying that and um you know, the interaction that I've had with people, you know, calling the radio and uh, on social media, it's like, there's, there's people are, you know, there's an underlying fear out there. And um, I think, as you're right, everyone's looking after each other. You've checked in on me a couple of times, I've checked in on you a couple of times, and everyone's kind of doing that. Well, I hope everyone's doing that. And if we're not, we can still. And I hope that, you know, we just come out of this just a bit, a bit more human oriented, you know? Um, you can buy all the things in the world, you have all the things in the world, but what do they mean? You know, what, what is most important to you is we're learning now, you know, it's like, what, what are we missing at the moment? We're missing human contact, you know, whether it's your mum, whether it's your dad, or whether it's just your mate, and, you know, having a hug when you meet at Ironic for a coffee and wedges, you know, um, that's what I'm missing. Um, and hopefully when we get back, we remember that. Yes, keep the good stuff. That's, that's what I'm hoping. I think there will be some hesitation going in for the hug they're crossing the road on the walk just now because we're told to and that's what i mean that's a good thing we're told to follow the rules we'll do that um there will be that hesitation i think and that we are much more aware of the contact how germs can spread how these the vulnerable and all those sort of it so yeah that's my hope keep the good stuff and uh just be just be wary i think would would be the thing but it will be odd it's been long enough now that this is normal and that's not mm. so they're the just getting back so, no, give notice. Uh, but like when you're you're watching the telly and and you see an ad where people are hugging or, or you see a big scene in a movie or something where everyone's sort of moving around and you go oh! <laughs> and I, I've developed a thing. Um, I was one of I was one of those people that only ever sort of I only washed my hands if they were dirty or I went to the toilet. Now all the time, if I do something in between doing anything, I wash my hands and that can't be a bad thing, you know. I used to make a joke, which was now, which is now embarrassing, you know, with the hand sanitizer. You know, it was, um, you know, the main ingredient for the hand sanitizer is paranoia, you know. Um, but look, who's laughing now? And um, yeah, so I've developed that thing. Um, they are. They're strange days, and what we put value on, you know, immediately it was toilet paper, then flour. Uh, next will be uh, an appointment for a haircut. The, the, the value scales changed on a lot of stuff, eh? It's, it is weird. And did we miss the other stuff? You know, I am. It's, uh, it's odd. It's been forced on us, but we didn't really miss it. We didn't really need it. So life without it's fine. Yeah, I, I just hope we can we can remember that and uh, and just remember our community and remember those that aren't quite as lucky. Um, have a good look at ourselves and say, hey, um, maybe there's a better way. Yeah, and I think that this is a chance to find that. Uh, from uh, from that point of view, uh, bandwidth's an issue. That's another thing we're valuing. Homeschooling is is back up. Well, uh, shades of it uh, as well. I think it's soaking up some of your uh, bandwidth as, as well. So maybe we catch up um, before this is done. If this is going to be done sooner, and if not, we'll have a, a real live wedge uh, in the old school fashion and uh, and talk about what it was like beforehand. Um, See we get on. But I, I value your time and I you value yours. So I appreciate it, my friend. Uh, stay safe. Lovely to catch you, brother. Yeah, good. Look after that family of yours. Cheers, man. Right, you too, brother. Take care.